pero ¿sabe qué ha pasado? Good evening, how are you? Eh, el día de ayer fue su audiencia. ¿Sabe usted que la fiscalía no oh, tiene thank que you. ingresar? Good evening. I'm going to share my screen with you right now. So just give me one second. And also, what do you remember from yesterday, guys? What do you remember? Something that you remember from yesterday, that we were study. ¿Qué estudiamos el día de ayer? Tell me. Do you remember anything? Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yes, do you remember anything? Anything else? Okay, so we are going to... Um, just give me one second. We are going to listen <clears throat> right now on the video and then we are going to practice. We are going to listen the video twice. <coughs> ¿Y qué recordamos del día de ayer? A ver. <coughs> What do you remember from yesterday? Nobody. How is possible? ¿Cómo es posible que no recuerden nada? Okay, just give me one second. This is practice, and yesterday, <clears throat> yesterday we were listening. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Estuvimos escuchando, verdad? Así que eh, vamos a continuar escuchando. And after that, we are going to practice. Después de eso vamos a practicar, okay? Just uh, let me know if you are listening. Hello everyone, in the conversation. Can you listen? Can you listen? Yes? Te escucha. Hello. Sí, teacher. Ok, thank you. Pero se, pero se suspendió el video. Sí, yo lo detuve para ver si se van escuchando. Bien, gracias. Ok, thank you. Hello everyone, in the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, we are going to listen again, and after that, we are going to practice, and after that, we are going to say our conversation. Hello, everyone. In the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please, this is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Five, 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 
4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the, the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. So now you have to, okay, thank you. Now you have to practice our conversations that we have here in our book. So just let me show with you. Okay, now you're, yes, right? Are you saying my screen? Ok, thank you, Wilber. Solo cuando sí escuchen, eh, por favor, your name, just say present, cuando ya pase la, la tenda, please, porque ahí sí es bien necesario, ok. Muy bien. Bueno. Ok, teacher. Eh, ok, we have here this one y tenemos dos minutos para leerlo, para que usted lo pronuncie, ya lo escucho, ahora léalo completo para que usted... Eh, Adapted to pronunciation, and after that, we are going to start. Vamos a dar two minutes to be exactly, no, yes, two minutes. En dos minutos empezamos. Please read it and pronounce. Eso es todo, eso es todo. No, pero una vez. Okay, the time is over, guys. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm going to start. Eh, solo tengo por acá, <coughs> vaya, si yo le menciono y usted no puede participar. Eh, tengo a Edith, tengo a Wilbur. Ellos son los que no pueden ahorita participar. Okay, muy bien. Eh, let's see. Who wants to be volunteer? Voluntarios? Volunteer? Voluntarios, ok, thank you. Mi teacher. Ok, el mundo en, José, mi teacher. El mundo en Amilcar, ¿verdad? Right? José Amilcar. Ok. Yes. Ajá, después voy por los demás que quieren participar. Ok, perfect. You are going to say one of you, secretary, and another, Mr. Kell. Ok, I'm one. Secretary. Ok. Good morning. Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? Mr. Graham, please. I'm sorry. Miss. She, she's not a kind of take a massage. Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Continue. Hola. Continue. Ye yes, please. This is Mr. Uh, Kale. Kale. Is that C A L E? D D D D D. G. Ah, okay. G A L E. Is that is that G A L E? No, it is K A L E. All right.
Siga. Please, please tell her our meeting is on Friday at uh, 2.30. Friday at 2.30? Uh, and could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number, uh, my number is C465554931. C four four six five 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 oh four three one oh zero three one oh oh three el oh. cero se dice oh yes oh <laughs> lo repito if you want please pero diciendo oh C four six five 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 Four O three one. Yes, Mr. Kale. Yes, uh -huh. continue. I'll give Mr. 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 Graham Ms. the massage. Message. Message. Thank you. Message. message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, thank you. Muy bien. Let's see. Maria and vamos a ver. Someone else. Maria, Maria, Maria. Voy yo, pues. Voy yo, pues. Dice. Okay. ok, thank you. Vamos, María. Good morning. Good morning, Parque Industries. Industries. Hello. May I speak to my Graham, please? I am sorry. She is not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mark is that G A R E? No. Is is K L E L E L E L E. L -E. L -E. L -E. All right. Please tell here our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Friday at thirty two thirty. At and will you ask here to call me this afternoon? My number is six four six four six four six five 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 four four three one three one. What are you? Six four six five 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 four zero three one. Yes, Mrs. K. Oh, I, I give Mr. Mr. Graham. I give Mr. Graham the massage. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Se nos quedó ahí. <laughs> Muy bien. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Mary. Good pronunciations. Good intonation. Excellent, Mary. I like it. Mira, Mary, bien bella. Ok, ah, thank you. Teacher, thank. Creo que Adán se congeló, creo que es la conexión, ¿verdad? Sí, creo que es la conexión. Ten, tenemos dificultad de inter. Ay, bueno, pero gracias, dígale gracias ahí a Adán que participó. Ok, muy bien. Uh, let's see, ¿quién más? ¿Quién más quiere participar? ¿Arles? ¿No? ¿Arles, Arles? ¿Arles? ¿No, Arles? Arles, Baudilio, Ever. Hello, teacher. Hello. I want a participation. Okay, ¿quién, quién, quién? Tengo a Baudilio y a quién más? ¿Quién más dijo que iba a participar? Ever Enrique. Enrique, pero le veo ahí como que aún está. Ah, ok, Ever Enrique, ¿verdad? Sí, yes. Ok, Ever Enrique en Baudilio. Go ahead. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, my, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm oh, sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. She's a Mr. K. Is that G A L E? No, it's K I L E. Oh, right. 
please tell her our meeting uh, is on Friday at 2 uh, 2.30. 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And call you, ask her to call me this afternoon. My number is 646 Yes, Mr. K, I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Excellent. Good. Thank you for your participation, guys. Well done. Let's see. Uh, let's move on with uh, another volunteer. A ver, who wants to be participate? Algunos que nunca los he escuchado en todo el curso. Muchos, muchos que nunca los escuché. Se terminó el curso y nunca, ¿verdad? A ver. No, nobody. Ok, bueno, pues nobody. Nobody wants to participate. Recuerde que ya nos queda poco, 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 poco. Muy bien. Now we are going to study about Phil and us. That is not the same. Okay. For example, the statement. So the meeting is on Friday. So message with the statement. So please tell Anna that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Will you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Okay, see, if you notice, so we have here like a message. Please tell, could you tell, would you tell her? Yes, you know, it's like when you, um, when you, for example, <coughs> sorry, for example, when you say something, because notice the same when you are saying tell and ask, for example, request. Call me this afternoon. So message with a request is please ask me to call this up to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call this afternoon? Y así vamos, ¿verdad? <coughs> bueno, antes de ver el video. Sorry guys, but I have some troubles with my throat. Okay. Uh I wanna pass the attendant list, okay? Please help me mention our saying present, okay? <clears throat> Las disculpas por mi garganta. Okay, let's see. Uh, today is, okay, one second. Adán Iglesias Velasquez? <clears throat> Adán? Adán. Creo que sigue teniendo ahí. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Me he acabado de la clase. Okay, okay, okay. Arles, Arles, Arles. Teacher. Yes. Mr. Arles has problems with uh, connection. Also. Yeah. Uy, hay varios que tienen problemas de conexión. Um, sí, pero aquí está escuchando. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Pero es que no, a ver, voy a revisar. Fíjense que hoy y mañana sí tengo que llevar bien el control, así que hoy sí voy a ir checando mejor. Piche, anda, eh, él ahorita anda buscando señal. Mm. Listen. Por mí. Anda buscando. Cámara. Ok, anda buscando. Ok. Pero tiene que estar conectado, dígale. Perdón, Mari, no le escuché, mi niña. ¿Qué me dijo? Mari, es que sí tiene. Listen for me. Yes. Vaya, eh, tienen que estar conectados porque hay algunos que, o sea, igual, ¿verdad? Menciono su nombre y no están. Entonces, hoy y mañana sí lo voy a tener que evaluar. Entonces, si no está, me veo en la obligación de ponerle. En asistencia. Ah, ahí está Arles. Arles Ernesto. Ahí está, pero prácticamente ha dejado ahí la conexión y él se ha ido, ¿verdad? A saber a dónde anda paseando ahorita. Anda en la pari. Entonces se fue a pari. Mm, bueno. 
le vamos a poner inasistencia porque ahí me ha dejado el teléfono solo para que esté ahí, ¿verdad? Tenemos que estar en la clase. Ah, ok, ahí está. Vaya, muy bien. Ok. Guiando la señal por todo el pueblo. Ah, bueno, bueno, ahí en un palito, suba hacia el árbol, tal vez ahí le pega. <risa> Muy bien. Excelente. Thank you. Baudilio. Ahí está Baudilio. <risa> ok, y Carlos nunca regresó, ¿verdad? Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes se quedó a vivir allá, creo, ¿verdad? De ilegal está ahí. Ah, bueno, se quedó. Allá lo Allá, bueno. bueno, ya está con Jin Yang. <ríe> ok, muy bien. Edgardo, eh, Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Teacher. Yes. Ya volví a perder la señal. Ay, Dios mío, es que está bien cortado. Se les escucha bien cortado. Ah, ok, ahí está Arles enseñándome. Ok, thank you, Arles. Vaya, perfecto. Ok, vamos a ver, Carlos, no se pierdan, por favor, ahí está. Hoy sí voy chequeando que estén porque la verdad a veces no creo, creo que ahí dejan el teléfono y se van. David Antonio Rosales García. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. No dejen ahí el, el celular, como que ahí están las paredes recibiendo inglés. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith, ah, Edith me dijo que no podía hablar, ¿verdad? Edith creo que aún no puede. Eh, Edmundo, Edmundo, ¿sí me escuchas? Ah, ahí está, Edmundo tenía problemas de conexión. Eh, Enrique Pérez Lemos, Enrique está por aquí. Presente, presente, ah, teacher. Ajá, no la había escuchado, Enrique. Ok, excelente, Enrique, thank you. Erika Beatriz, Erika Beatriz. Present, teacher. Gracias, Erika, ahí está, Erika, excelente. Eh, Ever Enrique Gallegos, hoy sí estoy Present checando. Teacher. Ok, thank you. Hoy estoy checando que estén, porque la verdad es que a veces no sé si están ahí. Ever Francis Alballero, por favor activen cámara. Hoy y mañana es extremely. I mean, present, present teacher. Ever Francis, ok. Los que puedan, por favor, me activan cámara. Ok. Franklin de la O. Uh, Ayala Hernández. Thank you. Ahora y mañana tienen que activar esta cámara. Ever Aristide, hoy a Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Teacher. José este, Amilcar, perdón. Teacher, perdone ahí. Fíjense que en mi caso yo no puedo conectar la cámara. Cuando le doy conectar me dice de que necesito actualización. Ah, ok, perfecto. Gracias, Franklin, por porque, ten, porque yo desde el teléfono me conecto. Entonces... Sí, está bien. Sí, yo entiendo, ¿verdad? Que cuando ustedes se conectan del teléfono, pues yo entiendo. Pero algunos terminamos ya el curso mañana y yo ni siquiera sé si dejaban el celular o alguien más recibía la clase por ustedes. Porque cuando nosotros adquirimos el compromiso de, de tomar ese curso, ¿verdad? Ustedes saben de que la cámara se activa por dos razones. Una, para que estemos prestando atención a la clase y se les está, eh, pues, dando el servicio. Y dos, porque no sabemos si alguien más está recibiendo la clase por la persona que se hizo pasar, vea que es. o alguien más les trabaja la plataforma, o alguien más les recibe la clase, alguien más les ayuda a resolver. Entonces, son como cositas que no, nosotros las tomamos en cuenta, ¿verdad? Y por eso yo estoy evaluando y ahora voy así, mire, voy bien determinadamente que usted esté ahí. Ok, thank you, Franklin. Eh, José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. ¿No está? Ah, ok, muy bien. Nice. José Benjamín, nice to meet you too. José Benjamín Gaviria Guevara. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Presente, presente, presente teacher. Vaya, muy bien, thank you. Juan Francisco Arrazabal Calderón. Juan Francisco Arrazabal Calderón. No está. Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco. No. 
buscando la señal. También buscando señal, ay Dios mío. Bye. Eh, María Magdalena Cedillos González, ahí está ella. Y Mónica Ibet Merino Rivas. Mónica Ibet Merino Rivas. Uy, no está tampoco. Hoy no podían faltar. Hoy no podían, ni mañana tampoco, no, 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 no. Bueno, no sé. Inasistencia, aunque yo no quiero. Ok, eh, Santos Mauricio Arias Valles. Santos Mauricio Arias Valles. Present teacher, I am here. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Y Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Present teacher. Muy bien, vaya. Mañana, mañana no puede faltar, ¿verdad? Así se enferme, así me diga teacher, pero no me puedo conectar porque yo sé que me cayó algo en la cara y se me deformó, lo siento. Así le vamos a tener que ver la cara deformada porque mañana no puede faltar. Teacher. Okay. Teacher, yes, excuse yes. Me. Tomorrow uh, no present. Ah, uh, no. Y, yes. lo está, y lo está diciendo la teacher, no puede faltar. Sale, no, no, I can't, I can't. I can't. Ay, no, really? Edmundo. Edmundo, yeah. siquiera como oyente, conéctese. Bueno, well, maybe. Tampoco, ay, no. Vaya, está bien, Edmundo ya sé entonces que mañana no puede, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿quién más? Eh, eh, es que, de, de, es, it is a, uh, it is a meet with the principal. Mm. And, and I can't. Yes, you can't. Yes, you're right. In this, in this, uh, In this occasion, you can't, so because not it's possible to you to connect to our class. But it's okay because now you have to say and write down what is the cause for that we have to, won't be yeah. able to in class. Edith Consuelo. Ay, Edith Consuelo. Hmm. Vaya, pero vamos a ver. Espérenme, es que cuando me dicen present después, se me hace difícil regresar a la... Present, 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 present. Okay, espérenme, Edith, espérenme. Edith, Edith, Edith Consuelo. Edith, le puse la asistencia. Ok, thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Uh, vamos a ver. Mañana no me pueden faltar. Yo sé que tienen cosas, compromisos, y yo sé que la hora, y me va a decir, teacher, pero es que mire. Ay, pero mañana recuerda que it's our last day. O sea, que aunque sea como, bueno, que no sería lo recomendable que se conecte como listener, because you know, you have to So, mañana se tiene que hablar, ¿verdad? Inclusive si está con cámara apagada, pues usted va a tener que hablar. Ok, uh, let's see. I'm going to present to you the video. Are you saying my screen? Yes, yes. I see it. Ok. I can see it. What do you see in my screen? What do you see in my screen? The Tell and ask. Tell and ask. Ajá, tell in us. Now, ajá, uh -huh. tell in us. Now, what we are going to listen, which is the different, and how we can use that, because it's very important that you have to know. So, what is the difference between tell and us? Because not is the same, okay? Here we go. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise 8, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. 
Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person plus two plus the request. Again, we use please, could you or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. Okay, guys, we are going to reproduce again. I'm going to reproduce again because you need to take notes about it. Now you have just listened to what is the current information, but now you have to take notes about what is the difference because we don't use the same one, I mean, in the same way. So as you can listen, we have different things and a lot of different things. So please take notes about this one. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise 8. Grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request. Okay, guys, this is the most important thing. Why? Because it's message with the statements. So that means that we have rules for this one. Rule for forming. Okay, rule for forming message with the statement. So tell plus person plus that plus the statements. Remember, to sound polite, you may use please, could you, and would you. In this occasion, you sounds like, oh my God, you're very polite. I don't know if have you ever listened to something that is, be polite, so that is very polite at the moment that they are, are speaking. I mean, they are saying something, you say, oh my God. So if you notice uh, the polite, that is that person, so I like it because it's so polite in the way that say the thing. So it's the same when you listen to someone in Spanish and it's very polite and you say, oh my God. So I like it because it's so polite. And you say, oh my God, they use everything. Okay, they say, so for example, so could you, but in English, we use another expression. So this sounds polite. Uh, you may use please call you so please call you so call you. Mm -hmm. could you tell me your name so we sound so polite would you would you tell me so in continue with the formal so please tell Juan that the class is at five 
So please tell the Anna, tell the Elizabeth that the class is at the English class is at 7 p.m. Could you uh could you tell to Ellie that the class is at five. So, I mean, we have the, the same example, but when you say please, call, cool, but that cool and wood, so you, you sound like very polite. I don't know if have you listened to someone in Spanish and you say, oh my God, it's so polite because that person says good night, good morning. And the way that they say the things, okay, you say, oh my God, so, okay. Could you and would you and please, ah, uh, if you say this word in English, oh my God, you are really polite. Okay, do you understand what I am saying? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follow. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Okay, <clears throat> for example, message with request. Full performing message with request. Okay, Jose, don't worry. Don't worry. If you have some trouble connection, don't worry. Okay, uh, rule for forming message with a request. Remember, to sound polite, you may use the same, right? If you can ask, if you can ask, okay, ask plus person plus two plus a request. So it's the same, yes, it's the same because the same expression that we have to use for say or sound so polite. So you say, for example, oh, um, uh, and continue with the firm. Please ask Lucia to meet me in my office. Okay. Could you please ask to Lucia to meet me in my office? Meet, no, meet, no, that means uh, meet the person because you don't meet. No, it's a meeting when you have a meeting. So this is the thing that you have to translate in this occasion. Okay. We are going to have a meeting. So in my office at eight o'clock. I don't know if you made sense about it. Do you understand? Meet is that we are going to have a meeting. This is not nice because yeah. not is because meet because I don't know about my class, my coworker, my classmate. No, it's that we are going to have a meeting. O sea, I can I meet dice que conocer el verbo meet también significa conocer. Entonces ahí dice que que le pregunte a Lucía que si va a conocer va se va a conocer en la oficina. No that we are going to have a meeting in my office. So as to, please, as to Lucia to meet me in my office. O sea que nos vamos a reunir, ¿verdad? Nos vamos a reunir in my office. Okay, so let's continue. Ask plus person plus two plus the request. Again, we use please, could you or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. Okay, so if you can listen to the video and you notice because this is grammar, but it's not just complicated because you say when you ask because it's because because you want to say something that is a request. But when you say tell is something that you have to tell what that you need to tell to someone else. Yes, I don't know if you make sense about it. Yes. Tell notice the same if I if I say ask, notice the same because when you say 
us because you want to us. Okay? So you say, ah, yes. Because it's necessary us. Okay? You want to request. You want to ask a request. Okay? So let's see. I'm going to share my screen with you. But in this occasion with our uh, book. For example, we have here um and says this one, for example, if I notice I'm um, like I said at the beginning, so that, that is a statement, so meeting, and that, that with meeting is on Friday. So tell, tell, tell to someone else. And request is that you have to that you need to ask to someone else. Could you ask him? Could you ask her? Could you ask Maria? Right? So look at the message slapping at someone message. to message. pass message. Uh, On this message, uh, use the words in parentheses that they compare with a partner. For example, so what do you have to say? For example, cool. Could you tell Joel no. that the movie is? Uh -huh. At seven. Would, uh -huh. seven would, o'clock. Would oh, what? Okay, let's gonna let's gonna structure the two. Would. Would what? One, two, three? Would are, you would uh -huh. would you would you pick me up at home around four? No, would, would. you no uh -huh, would, would, you would you pick me pick me? No. Pick me no, up? No, 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 no. Would, would you, you tell tell would you tell Mitch? Oh, uh, you... okay, okay, I got it. Okay. Would you tell Mitch uh, to pick me up at home around four? Excellent, excellent. Because remember, so we are going to use the same structure. Could you uh, tell? It is a message with a sentence, yeah? Yes, it's a message, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I escuché a alguien que dijo teacher. ¿Quién será? Ahí escuché a alguien que dijo teacher, teacher, teacher. ¿No? ¿Tendrá alguna pregunta? Ok, si usted tiene alguna pregunta, hágala. Levante su manita, ¿verdad? Y puede preguntar. No se quede con la duda, porque eso se trata. ¿Yes? ¿Yes, yes, yes? ¿No? He tenido problemas ahí, pero estoy conectado hace unos 20 minutos. Ok, Juan Francisco, déjeme ver si le puse la asistencia. Ay, Juan Francisco. Ay. Sí, ya tenía en asistencia. Ya tenía en asistencia, Juan Francisco. Gracias, Ok, you're welcome. Busquen señal, traten la manera de conectarse, porque algunos sí no tienen problemas. He notado que algunos no tienen problemas. Están bien conectados y no se les traba mucho, pero algunos sí se les congela, se les traba. Y yo sé que es normal. Pero tratemos de buscar como aquellos puntos en los que no tenemos problemas para que podamos poner atención a la clase y no solo la atención, que podamos recibir la clase en su totalidad. Ok, now we have continued. For example, when you say please, what happened? Please, please. Ok, podemos ver la caja. Please. Please. Ay, 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 ay. ay espérame que no me hace caso. <ríe> Please. Please ajá. tell tell Eva. Please tell Eva. Eva. The concert on Saturday is canceled. The concert on Saturday is canceled. Is canceled. Is canceled. Yeah. Ok, yeah. excellent. Canceled. That means it's canceled. There is no concert. There is no no va a haber yeah. concert. Uh -huh. No hay concierto. No hay concierto de la Olga Tañón. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Excelente. De la bichota. De la bichota, no va a ver. Ok, muy bien. Vamos, four to six. Now we are going to change it. Because now we are going to say this one in request. Ok. For example, would. Would you, would you, would you tell me, Jim, bring the. Would you. Would, no, tell, would, tell, would you. Would you tell him. Would you ask. Jim. No, no, no. Vamos con ask. 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 Uh -huh. uh, would would you ask to Jim? Would you ask it to Jim? Would you ask the, to Jim? Muy bien. For the hockey game tonight. Would you ask him? Uh huh. 
Would you ask him to call? Would you ask? Would you ask Jim? Would you would you, to, would you ask Jim to to bring the the ticket for the to hockey bring, game tonight? To bring the ticket for hockey, the hockey game hockey tonight. game tonight. Okay. Yes. Always we are going to uh, respect the the grammar structure. Aka. Instead of say him, we are going to say Jim. I mean the name. I don't know if you make sense. Okay. Right. The fine? Yes, number four. Okay, no, sorry, number oh, five. No. no, number five, number five, number five. It's yes, fine. Number five. Uh huh. It's would, would, would. W would you ask? See, would you ask uh, to Anne? Uh, yeah, see, mm -hmm. yes. The museum open at 10 tomorrow morning. Would ask would you ask to the ask? museum open at 10 uh, tomorrow morning? Would, a ver again, would ask and would ask and uh-huh. To the, to the museum open at 10 tomorrow morning. To open the opens, museum. To open the museum opens museum at, 10, at 10, 10 tomorrow, tomorrow morning. morning. Porque debemos de tener un amino en uno a ver. No podemos decir okay. the museum. To open tomorrow morning. The museum. To open. Uh -huh. To open, uh -huh, okay. Uh, the last one, please. please. Another volunteer. Uh -huh. Ajá, solo el mundo dice que participa, dice. A ver, los demás. Es que los demás no quieren participar. Yes, Saúl. No le entendemos mucho. No le entendemos, como no. Pero nunca me dijeron, teacher, no le entendemos hasta que ya terminó el curso, me están diciendo. <risa> Ajá, muy bien, ¿cómo sería la última? La finalidad que les haya hablado solo en inglés es porque están en tercero ya, o sea, es intermedio tres, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí ya no tenemos que hablar mucho, mucho español y a medida que usted vaya avanzando, quiere decir que usted no va a ir hablando español porque la finalidad es que usted salga siendo bilingüe. Ajá. ¿Cómo sería el number six? A ver, dice el mundo que le cede oportunidad a alguien que la quiera realizar. Está fácil. El mama, la más fácil les ha dejado el mundo. A ver, estructúrela entre compañeros. Ayúdense. Please. 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 Jerry. Jerry, please ask Terry. Uh, uh, no, Jerry. Uh -huh. Jerry, ¿qué? Tú. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry to, to meet. Uh -huh. To meet. To meet. Uh, to meet us. Uh -huh. To meet, to meet us. us. In front. In front of the. Of the, of, the cafeteria, of the cafeteria, of the cafeteria, of the cafeteria, quarter, quarter uh, after 12. ¿Cómo se lee esa hora? Quarter after 10. No voy a decir 12. Quarter after, no. quarter after 12. O puede decir quarter, quarter past 12. Que sería un cuarto pasado las dos. ¿Ok? No voy a decir 12.50, que es la forma más tradicional, pero hay horas para que sonemos más como inglés, o sea, más polite, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí está. Uh -huh. Ok, excelente. Muy bien. Tenemos por acá unusual favors. Things unusual message for the For the three people in your class, write notes to your partner asking him or her to pass off message. For example, we have here, there's, there's Sergi. 
It's my birthday tomorrow. Could you please tell Miss Ken that I want to have a party during class? Imagínese. During class. Also, could you ask Steven to buy a birthday cake? Thanks. Okay, ¿qué van a hacer? ¿Qué le va a decir? Who wants to tell? Uh -huh. ¿Qué le tiene que decir? Ajá. Uh -huh. Could you please tell Mr. Ken? ¿Qué le va a decir a Mr. Ken? A Miss Ken. ¿Qué le va a decir? That. That. He wants to have a party during class. And also, could you ask Steven to buy a birthday cake? Thanks. Es como un message. Cuando ustedes alguna, have you ever make a note stick on your refrigerator? ¿Alguna vez ha dejado, eh, ha dejado usted una nota en el refrigerador? ¿Alguna vez la ha dejado en el, sobre el refrigerador? Y usted ha dicho, ah, ¿verdad? Voy a dejar. Voy a dejar una nota. Y usted dice, por favor, decirle, please tell to my new uh, sobrina, tell to my nice sobrina, o tell to my sister, my son, my daughter. So if she wants to have a, to buy a Kate, ¿verdad, Kate? Yes. O sea, son como puntos claves para utilizarlos. Muy bien. Otra de las cosas que necesito enfatizar es la pronunciación. Ok, miren, eh, me va a decir, teacher, ¿y qué son estas cositas que vemos por acá? Lo voy a acercar un poquito. Acá, si usted se fija, hay unos símbolos, que eso se ve en fonética, that is phonology. Uh, it's phonology because it's the sounds of that we have uh, say but throw of mom, throw the tans and te. Yes. So, esas son las, ese es el sonido de las, de las letras de cada palabra que está dentro de mm, nuestra lengua y de nuestros dientes. El aire que sale a través de nuestra garganta por la lengua a través de los dientes, eso es como la fonología. Es cada articulación que hacemos de cada letra que van en la palabra. A eso se le llama pronunciation. Que es la, perdón, hay alguien que tenga interferencia o microfonito encendido. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, cuando tenemos el sonido de las palabras, ¿verdad? Que sale, ¿verdad? Nosotros podemos tener una pronunciación y muchas veces no sabemos cómo, la, cómo se dice la palabra. Y en eso pues entramos en un problema. Porque realmente usted dice, bueno, perdón, yo siento que hay interferencia de alguien. Eh, o alguien quiere participar o decir algo, solo escucho que apenita sale la voz. ¿No? Hay algunos que ya no los veo, creo que ya se durmieron. Ya se fueron a dormir, ya están en pijamados, bien dormidos, porque ya no, no. los veo. No, 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 no nos vemos, pero aquí estamos. No, no. Ah, vaya. Es que por ahí hay algunos que ya no los veo, como a Enrique. Yo no sé qué se dice. Ah, ahí está Enrique. Ah, ok, ok. Muy bien, es que no sé cómo no activan cámara, ¿verdad? Sí, yo, que tengan sí. la oportunidad. No sé si ahí están o ya se fueron a dormir y la teacher está hablando aquí sola. Ok, es, así que... Es que per, perdón, Ticho, es que al, al activar la cámara la recepción se vuelve peor, no hay conexión. Ay, se sí, tienen razón. Bueno, lastimosamente tienen mala conexión. Pero eh, los que puedan activar ahí camarita, pues activen, la verdad. Porque de repente no sé si ya se fueron a dormir y la teacher aquí lo han dejado. Ok, muy bien. Bueno, los que les, lo que les seguí explicando, ¿verdad? Era sobre la articulación de las palabras y el sonido que tenemos que tener al momento de pronunciar una palabra. Por ejemplo, repita usted. Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? Would you? Could you? And would you? Not is the same. Could you? Could, could you? Would you? Yes? Could you? 
Ok, teacher, pero es que a mí no me va a salir así como que no. Ok, porque yo hablo con la J, teacher. No. Ok, you say so. Cool. Cool. No vamos a poner ninguna otra cosa, ¿verdad? Pero, cool you. Cool you tell Matt. The meeting is at five. Would you ask him to pick me up? Teacher, ahí no entiendo. Ask him to pick me up. Pick me up. Es una sola palabra. No se detenga. Pick me up. Pick me up. Pick me up. Ok. Up. Up. Pick me up at 40 and a half. Entonation. Careful with the question mark porque cuando estamos preguntando debemos de sonar como una pregunta. No plano. Ok. Could you tell Matt that Miren is at five? Is that fine? Ok, nuestra misma uh, aire y nuestra misma pronunciación nos va llevando como, como a una pregunta, como, como que el tono de voz no es plano. No sé si me doy a entender. Porque eso de la pronunciación, yo no me había detenido a explicarlo, ¿verdad? Es la primera clase que les digo, eso de la pronunciación. Sí tenemos serios problemas de pronunciación, ¿verdad? Aún incluso eh, teachers, ¿verdad? Aún siendo teacher, tenemos como que estar estudiando esto de la pronunciación porque se nos vuelve bien caótico. Entonces, tenemos que uh, be careful with that pronunciation because not always we have the same word to, I mean, to, to say, right? So, could you tell Matt the meeting is at five hoy? Y vuelvo a escuchar esa voz otra vez. Dios mío, yo no sé si me están asustando. Pero escucho a alguien que quiere hablar o quiere participar y no sé, o se le activa el micrófono o no sé, pero escucho como una vocecita. Bueno, la teacher quizás está alucinando. Pero si es... Lemos, eh, you have a microphone activo. Ajá, es que tienen activo el micrófono. Thank you, Bobby. Yes, please, careful with the microphone, please. Solo para mí. Just for a while I'm going to explain it. O sea, mientras estoy explicando, ¿verdad? Porque necesito que a usted se le quede Yo, eso. Es la, el, el la noticia del vecino que estaba oyendo. Ah, bueno, quizá, ¿verdad? A lo mejor. Bueno, entonces, continuamos. Practice sí. with these questions. Sí. Practice with uh, these questions with a reduced form. Ok, ¿cuál es la reduced form? When you say, ok, so could you tell him, could you tell them, I will, ok. ¿Cuál es lo que voy a... Ah, teacher, es que aquí no sé, ¿verdad? Eh, pienso que practice this question with reduced form. O sea, la reduced form, it's very short. Could you tell them? Could you tell them? Could you tell them I will be late? So, I will, I will be late. I will be late. Entonces necesito que... Could you tell them? Uh -huh. Could you tell them? Could you tell them? Mira, si se fija, va una sola, como que suena como una sola palabra. Suena así. Could you tell them? Solo como que dice dos. Could you tell them? Could you tell them? Could you tell them? Could you tell them? Ajá. Could you tell them? I will be late. Tell them. I will be late. Okay. I will be late. Okay. Will you ask her? Will you ask her? Ahí vamos un solo. Will you ask her? Trate de hacerlo despacio. Would you ask her? Ok. Would you ask her? Ahora un poquito más rápido. Would you ask her? Would you ask her? Ajá. Would you ask her? her? To be on time. To be on time. Fácil. To be on time. Easy. To be on time. Would you ask her to be on time? Ok. Could you ask her? Could you ask her? Could you ask her? Could you ask her? Could you ask her to could return? Uh -huh. Could you ask? Could you? 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 Uh -huh. could you? Could you ask her to return my dictionary? My dictionary? My dictionary? Could you ask her to... Mm -hmm. you... My dictionary? My could you ask her to return my dictionary? Excelente, thank you Edmundo, se cayó Edmundo para darles ahí oportunidad que los demás también participaran, ok, excelente, would you tell him there is a picnic tomorrow? Would you tell him? 
Tell him. Tell him. Tell, tell him. him. Uh -huh. Necesito que lo pronuncien. A ver. Would you tell him? Uh -huh. Would you tell him? Ajá, uh -huh. there is a picnic. There is a picnic. There is a picnic tomorrow. Tomorrow. Would you tell him a picnic tomorrow? Excellent. Tiene que sonar como pregunta, ¿ok? Sonar como pregunta. Okay. Picnic tomorrow. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, Would like this. Como uh, es. Picnic tomorrow. Excellent. Entonces, si se fija, lo que está en negrita, that is in bold, you say, could you? Could you? Would you? Could you? Would you? Despacio. Could you? Could you? Intent, ajá, intente tres veces, ajá, intente tres veces despacio, call you, call you, call you. Ahora, otras tres veces, un poquito más rápido, call you, call you, call you. Ok, so, vamos despacio, slow and then so fast. A little bit fast, a little bit fast and a little bit fast. This is practice, ok, esa es como práctica, 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 práctica. Ok, would you, would you, would you. Y si nosotros practicamos, ¿verdad? Todo eso nos, eh, se nos hace fácil, ¿verdad? Muy bien, acá tenemos un listen taken a message. Era lo que les estaba diciendo. Bueno, acá realmente tendríamos que hacer uno, ¿verdad? Igualito a este, pero por el tiempo ya no nos queda nada. Entonces no lo vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Eh, solo si necesito preguntarles algo. I wanna tell you, I wanna ask. This one and Spanish. ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? ¿Quién ya la terminó? Deben de poner, miren, aquí sí les voy a decir, o sea, tienen que ser y no quizás por, porque la teacher lo dice, ¿verdad? Sino por ustedes, porque si bien es cierto, vean, me va a decir teacher, pero la verdad es que no tengo tiempo para terminarla. Ya terminamos, niños. Ya mañana Tomorrow is our last day y mañana sí tenemos que conectarnos. O sea, mañana sí o sí usted tiene que estar conectado. Trate, por favor. Bueno, ya el mundo ya me dijo que él, pues, por lo, por lo que tiene, pues, no va a poder. Pero si usted tiene la oportunidad o la posibilidad, inclusive, teacher, eh, lo siento, pero fíjese que yo igual voy a estar en algo similar, pero sí me voy a conectar. Conéctese aunque sea como listener, ¿ok? ¿Sí? No, o sea, no quiero que usted lo deje como el lado. Igual con la plataforma, trabajenla. Si usted no trabaja plataforma, va a ser bien imposible que a usted le den, pues, usted sabe que se lleva un registro de usted, su nota, eh, si usted terminó o no terminó su plataforma. Y para que usted no vaya a tener como algún tipo de problemas, o sea, por favor, termine la plataforma. ¿verdad? Que yo sé que me va a decir, teacher, pero we don't have time. Sí, yo sé que no tienen tiempo, pero hágalo, hágalo. Yo sé que al menos usted le dedica pues una hora o dos horitas, yo sé que lo saca, lo saca, porque no está tan complicada la plataforma. Y si usted necesita ayuda entre compañeritos, también se pueden ayudar. Miren, tenés esta parte, ¿verdad? Pero tiene que buscar como la forma, ¿verdad? De poder terminar esa plataforma. Ya solo mañana tenemos, just tomorrow. Y mañana sí voy a necesitar que tengamos un poquito de posibilidad de participar, porque mañana sí lo voy a hacer participar y vamos a estar abriendo mucho nuestro micrófono. Ok, guys. Have a good night. Take care. God bless you and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. See you tomorrow.